Episode 19, Designing Green Ops for Non-Toxic Ecological Peace Fair, originally published April 29th, 2022. Actually, the other day I was going through some old files and I found um, some of the earlier, some of the earliest um, workings on this concept. Uh, and, And I've mentioned this before, but it's worth mentioning again. There was once upon a time, um, I was uh, involved in a project that was the, one of the most epic of my life where uh, it was just the perfect canvas to to run a permaculture design course and um, and the right sort of chemistry of personalities and, and, and natural embedded setting to where we could have a lot of fun um, doing campouts and and trainings and hosting uh, instructors and we had a very very rustic yet um, somewhat luxurious sort of um, ranch house that was custom built um, and uh, and then this epic landscape that I was the um, the, the lead permaculture designer of and I brought a lot of uh, world-class permaculture instructors and um, and advisors on to the project and unfortunately there was a there was a uh, a relationship a romantic relationship dynamic that brought it that brought it brought my involvement in that site um to a to a, a really a bitter and, and abrupt end so i've got some or well i got some bastard teenage food forest trees hopefully they're still alive and hopefully the earthworks and the the um swales everything is uh is still nurturing them and that would be the whole point it's like if you can (laughs) if you can break up with your land owning lover after installing a permaculture food forest um on their property um if you did it right you should it it, it, whether nurtured or neglected if if you were to ever (laughs) be invited to see it again it should be thriving and it should only need um bits of maintenance for it to really um, sing.